What's going on, guys? Steve Pulaski coming back with another episode of Steve Pulaski Tries It, a show dedicated to the analysis and appreciation of the products we know, love, and consume. So here we go. Today we're going to be tackling Lester's Fixin's Artificial Bacon Soda. Kind of taking a break now from the economy brand sodas and going more into the novelty market. I was downtown today in Chicago and I was picking up a few things. I was looking through the gift shops and I saw in the window they had a bunch of these novelty sodas. And I was like, I got to get some of these. Lester's Fixins is a brand of soda. It's made by Rocket Fizz, which is a corporation that makes a lot of candies and prank gag gifts and stuff like that and um, novelty sodas and everything. So I, I've been dying to try some of their flavors. So I definitely had to pick, I picked about, I think I picked five up, I think I picked five sodas up today, all the same kind of theme, weird flavors, this one's bacon, their best, the brand's best selling soda, so we're going to try that out today, um, I have no idea what to expect with this, now, am I a fan of bacon, yeah, to an extent, I don't like fetishize it over like some people do, some people go nuts with their love with bacon, and I kind of get sickened by it, I go into gift shops and I see like bacon gum, bacon air freshener, it kind of gets a little bit sickening, you know what I mean, the um, ubiquity of bacon, I guess you would say, because this, I mean, if you notice, this culture, like, or this country, America, like, you know, just dies for it, you know what I mean, just goes nuts for it, um, but we're going to be trying the bacon soda. I'm not sure how this is going to taste. I kind of wince at it when I look at it, but you never know. Sometimes these sodas, you know, tend to be surprising. Um, it doesn't have the exact amount of ingredients I see, but I do see... Oh, it actually does. Excuse me, the nutrition facts. I couldn't see it. It's very, very fine print. Um, 170 calories, and this is a 12-fluid-ounce bottle, I believe. Yeah, 12-fluid-ounces. Um... No fat, 25 milligrams of sodium, 43 grams of total carbohydrates, 42 grams of sugar, so it's very sugary. And the ingredients are carbonated water, sugar, citric acid, sodium benzoate, which is preservative, caramel color, natural flavor, and red dye number 40. Let's try this out, guys. I'm not sure. I actually use a bottle opener. Not sure what to think of this. Give it a quick pour. Might actually be one of the Steve Plasky tries that I spit out on camera, do a spit take. You never know. You know, that's the beauty about this show. It's a very um, impromptu thing. Here you go. Dark red in color. Maybe more of an amber color. Oh, man. Oh, God. Does it smell like bacon? It smells like burnt bacon. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that's bad. That's foul smelling stuff, man. Don't I don't know. I'm not even sure you're supposed to breathe this. Oh god, it almost smells like one of those garbage pail kids. I remember from you know those trading cards they had when you know my generation was growing up, and I think they still do for some reason. It smells like one of those garbage pail kid things. And I bought four or five of these sodas. Not this specific kind, just different novelty kind. Oh god, I don't even want to smell it, let alone drink it. Cheers. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, God damn. <laughs> That's bad. Oh, that is awful. All right, for one, it's very sugary. It hits it right in the nose, and it really hits you in the throat. It's incredibly sugary. Oh, man. Second, it doesn't taste a ton like bacon. I don't want to have to sip it again. It tastes almost like burnt, like a very light burnt bacon. That's what it tastes like to me. Oh, God, what a weird, foul-tasting drink, man. I'm going to take one more sip for science. Oh, man. It's like sugary burnt bacon. That's what it tastes like. Oh, and it's made with cane sugar, too, so at least you don't get that gooey thickness that comes with um, high fructose corn syrup. But, man, is this bad. On a score out of four, it gets a one. And I don't even know if you could make something like this appetizing. Like, you know, I always say with movies, any idea can be made into a good movie as long as it has good writing, good directing, good acting. You know what I mean? 
I'm not sure this could be made into a decent halfway drinkable soda. And the smell, too, is just rancid. I mean, it, it, it is a rancid-smelling drink, okay? I'm just going to throw that out there right now. Out of four stars, it gets a big one. I think it's the first one I've ever given on this show. I think I've given one and a half before. I don't think I've ever given one. This is a one-star soda, okay? Thank you guys for watching. I'm Steve Pulaski. And this may be the first soda in Steve Pulaski tries it that I dump out. Um, thank you guys for watching, though. Some of you have, and I will try to get around to more of these Lester's Fixin' Sodas soon. Hopefully this or next week or within the following month of September. Thank you guys again. Sub if you haven't. I'll talk to you later.